Chief Minister Nong Thom Bambirain launches Rabi Campaign 2018 to enable farmers achieve higher yield for various crops during Ravi session for boosting their income. Two scientists from the Wildlife Institute of India, Dehradun, arrived in Fal today to investigate recent mysterious killings of domesticated livestock. And the relevant authorities assures to repair Infal Yadipod Road at the earliest. Villagers called off indefinite blockage of Infal Yadipod Road. A very good evening to you all and welcome to Impact News. I'm Kanal Sambandaran presenting you the Sunday primetime English news. Let's begin with the top story. Chief Minister Nongthom Bambirain has launched Rabi Campaign 2018 and Agriculture Equipment Expedition Ex exhibition with an aim to help farmers achieve high yield of various crops during Ravi session today. The Department of Agriculture and Manipur Farms Enterprise Private Limited jointly organized a launch at the Hautal Pangai in Infal East. Speaking in the event, Chief Minister Birend asserted that the Ravi campaign will help positive impact on the economy of the state. He stated that efforts will be made to cultivate various crops or on the PD land post harvest on the priority basis and uh, and as a mission mode the campaign will be undertaken at areas where irrigation required may be facilitated by Dolai Thabi Thobal project and Loktak left irrigation and de and depending on the success of the project cultivation will be further expanded Mentioning that Prime Minister Narendra Modi envisioned to double the farmers' income by 2022, Chief Minister Birend assured that the government is working tirelessly to uplift the lives of the people and to bring positive changes in the state. He also mentioned that the government is planning to provide 100% subsidy to those deserving farmers on providing loans and procurement of machineries and that a new policy for the welfare of the farmers will be announced soon. The Chief Minister disclosed that the state government is signing memorandum of understanding with selected companies to start machineries of farming in the state. Chief Minister Birend asserted that when everyone works with sincerity and transparency for at least 10 more years. The state will see development in various sectors. He mentioned that the government provides agencies the government, private agencies and farmers need to put in the joint efforts to increase productions of agricultural and alleged product. He assured of personally monitoring the updates and improvement of the initiative every week. Adugi area, Hobal Damgi, Manaka area, local irrigation in Manaka area, Krizahan identified to Okanda mission canoeina, Modu in a home shape. But they have a machine and machine everywhere. Machines in Digido totally planned to Okanda, a machine, Lopala, Tarasima, Pokanda, Nuna Singan people to Kodabani, or Lakahum people city, Pridu, Pinu, anything. Madugi method, Madugi policy to be a way. Speaking in the event, Agriculture Minister V. Hanklian stated that there are around 2.34 lakh hectares of cultivable land available in the state. He called for finding ways for optimal uses of land portions of the land which remained wasted during off season. The minister further stated that the agriculture department is working tirelessly to double the farmers' income by 2022. He mentioned that the state government has undertaken various measures for irrigation. He disclosed that the department has requested administrator of Manipur University to lend the support of the university's geologists in conducting underground water survey for drilling tube wells in the state. He assured that the state will not face scarcity of water once the project become a success. 
Speaking in the event, Agriculture Director P. H. Rajendra stated that the Agriculture Department under the initiative of the Chief Minister and Concerned Ministers will provide water sprinklers and drift irrigation facilities under minor irrigation scheme to farmers. He also called farmers he also said farmers will be provided farmed machineries at 95% subsidy through Farmers Club and FIG. The director appealed to Farmers, farmers Club and FIG to get update on the same from the District Agricultural Officer and the Agriculture Directorate. Manipur University Administrator Chihamahire telephone to Wari Shahre and the Huggy Zeologist Singhse Mateng Pahalo and the latest equipment seasoner Two scientists from Wildlife Institute of India, Dehradun, have reached Infal today to investigate the recent mysterious deaths of domesticated livestock at various places of the state. Investigations, including camera trapping of various locations, will be carried out along with officials of the Forest Department from tonight. Speaking to media at the Office of Forest Department in Sanjian Thong, scientist Dr. Gopi Jeevi stated that they were invited by the state government to investigate the matter, stating that similar incidents have occurred in other states of India. He appealed not to panic. Gopi assured to put in all out efforts and come up with a definite reports in a couple of days. Our important next important step and the challenge is the next few days what we are going to do is try using certain methods like camera trapping we are trying to uh, we are planning to identify which animal would have caused this so what we are, we are going to do is we are going to go to these each of these attack sites where attacks have happened and we are also going to target where there are vulnerable areas where attacks can happen in future so in all these areas we are going to go and place these camera traps and in maybe in next two three days time we will come to know that you know what kind of animals is actually causing this uh, killings officials of the forest department is relentlessly continuing investigation into the unceasing mysterious killings of domesticated first over the past one week. The unidentified predator today attacked domesticated first of Angom the Prem Kumar from the Sangaipuro Mamang Leikai in Infal West District from this for the second time. Eyes and stomach of the duck are missing. Unidentified predator has left a footprints outside. Upon getting the information, a special team comprising of officials and staff of the forest department rushed at the site and inspected. A special team collected samples of the dead foes and footprints molded from the site. And officials of the special team and de Deputy Ranger T.H. Kiran stated that recent killings of foes are all consistent. However, the predator is yet to identify. He believed that the sample collected today will help in identifying the creature. It may be mentioned that the state government is working along with a central wildlife expert team to find clues and identify the predator responsible for creating havoc to livestock farmers in the state by mass killing of domesticated foes. <laughs> Kungi Prince, Masi Halami Mosi, Sorakum, Luna Manari, Masin Atumba Mana, Yam Luna Halaga, he would look a hard to say. Sloina Masi Manari, I couldn't appeal business as a really poor say. I could agree, senior officers in the way of the Kutukuki, Queen of Pauzi Pizabaneva. I think Tongan Bakuki, scientist Karamasu, Mapalam de Kisula, how you show Mus scientist Karamasu my ticket and a tower. Meanwhile, Yenning Animal Foundation YAF has started installing CCTV cameras with night vision as precautionary measures against the unidentified predator attacking domesticated livestock in the state. The foundation has appealed to refrain from uploading fake videos and posts on social media about the predator creating fear psychosis among the people. 
YAF also expressed a desire for the government to take necessary emergency measures without further delay. Chief Minister Nong Thom Bambirain has appealed not to panic over the recent attacks by unidentified animals in the state. Bahrain assured that the forensic scientist teamed from Dehradun will soon investigate the matter. He also assured that DFOs and police officials were instructed to take preventive and precautionary measures for public safety and wooden cages were set up to trap the unidentified animals at various places. Chief Minister Bahrain was speaking during an event held at the Pangai Hautal today as he also appealed to all the livestock farmers of the state to secure their animals by properly locking animal shelters. Two senior scientists, Dr. Hussein Ivan and Dr. Lucy Badola Ivan, they are the beginning wildlife biologists, forensic experiment, which is ถ้าเกิดมีมามีการกระจายสิทธิ์ต่อการได้ทราบว่าอิดีนิฟิเคชั่นออกมาการีนกับไม่ต้องมีเสียงนั่นสิถุงมันนี่นะฮะเด็ก
acting on a team of a team of a police seize a huge amount of banned tobacco products around 11 to 20 p.m. yesterday. The tobacco products were seized from three individuals coming in a Tata Magic vehicles bearing registration number MN06 LA3581 from Infal to Atsmore at a Saivomd area in Technopol district. The miscreants are identified as Laishram Ajit, 25 years, son of Ild Amuchand from the Wangjing Bazaar, Sorai Samd Prem Chand, 28 years, son of Samu from Lamding, Chirapur, and Subhamd Kumar Samlu, 20 years, son of Ram Prakash from Telepati. The seized products include 35 cartons of gold, golden kaini, each containing 540 golden kaini, 18,900 in totals, and 5 gunny bag of sergeant tobacco each containing one 125 sergeant packet 625 packet in total the seized items and the miscreant were handed over to foot safety officers for further necessary actions Nine Sector Assam Rifle Tulihal Battalion, Mayang Infal, the company operating based under the aegis of IGAR South, has conducted a free mega medical camp at Mayai, Mayang Infal today. Regimental Medical Officer Captain Aditi Verma and five volunteers. Doctors provided free medical consultation on the various diseases and health-related issues along with a team of nurses from the Myang Infald PHG. Free medicines were also provided to over 380 patients in the medical camp. Deputies Speaker and MLA Myang Infald TH Rubindra also attended the medical camp. Kanglei Indigenous Martial Art and the Cultural Society Kimax and JAC on Thangta Teachers Recruitment 2018 in a press release informed that a public meeting regarding recruitment of Thangta teachers will be held on December 5th at the Kimax office in Palace Compound at 12.30 p.m. Kimax has invited all the Thangta Association of the state to attend the meeting. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring some news on the Congress MLA Kumukjam Joy Kisant challenging the BJP government for a public debate on the government and declared emergency in the state. We will be back with the details after the break. Until then, keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break. You are watching Primetime English News. Congress MLA Kumukjam Joy Kishan has challenged the BJP government for a public debate on the undeclared emergency allegedly imposed in the state by the government. The MLA also mocked herself the professed spokesperson of BJP Manipur Pradesh for blabbering on the media without any knowledge of the Indian constitution. Addressing media at the Kuyatong Community Hall today, MLA Joy Kishan alleged the BJP government of trying to suppress any voice raised against the government. He expressed shock at the re-arrest of Kisor Chand Wang Kim under NSA after he was granted bail by a judicial magistrate. The Congress MLA asserted that both the public and opposition will agree to disagree all the atrocities of the BJP government. Joy Kishan firmly said the opposition party will not remain silent at such subjugation of the BJP government and demanded the ruling party to main ways at the slightest error pointed out by the opposition. Joy also criticized the government for not giving due importance to brave martyrs of the state, including a Muslim Bharatan who gave their life in the Kong Jomwar. The Congress MLAs intimated that a marathon event as a tribute to the martyrs of the state will be organized in relation to the Foundation Day observance of Thangmai Band Kendra Development Organization and the winners of the marathon will be accorded awards next year. He asserted that the event will provide and prove that mar martyrs of the state are not less than other martyrs. Manipur dapt lalo uban namthana ba terrorist namthana ba adugumba preventive misera ma NSA ko ba emalay rambasina 
एक तुगे नामादा गवर्नमेंट्स की मायूक तक फाजन बकु मैं पाला फाजन करने लोग रख दी देन हो यार इसे डिमोक्रेसी सी नहीं है जैसे अन अनडिक्लार्ड इमरजेंसी नहीं है इसे इचुम द चुमले रे बाप होंगे आई ना सिस्टम हो है जगे मणिपुर हो जी अनडिक्लार्ड इमरजेंसी पाली मशीन का नागुम्बा बीजेपी की मियो है मना आई ना तोड़ी पर चार से लाली है गदी बीजेपी की मियो है मा एमएलए देखी तादा मियो है मगा आई का मणिपुर पब्लिक में आम मांग दा बीजेपी ने चेतरी पर मियो में नहीं आराम पर में आम से डिबेट तोड़ने से मधुर लाई बाग में आम ने बीजेपी ने चुमी आई ना चुमी से खंगने से अरे बीजेपी की मियो था तो रे इन्हें ने डिबेट तोड़ने देन कंस्टिट्यूशन जो खंग दबा लो जो खंग दबा अमा था तो रे पंगांग ने गांव रा दुगुम वम गया कोई वारी शानरो the Rupmal Theatre in a press release informed that the 19th Rupmal Artist Memorial Drama Festival 2018 will begin on December 23. Interested Theatre Association of the State for participating in the festival to be held in open category may submit their script copy and other relevant documents along with admission to fee of 1,000 rupees, latest by December 10th. Kwai Nung Singh Sintha Lop has launched missions Lang Langond Langdai with an aim to integrate various communities of Manipur today. The association also held a one-day convention on the Langond Langdai at Manipur Dramatic Union MDU Hold. Speaking to media, President of Kwai Nung Singh Sintha Lop, Lekshemba Maitais reminded that scholars of Manipur spouse for Emotional integrity among inhabitants of the state to bring unity when a state faces a critical junctures of the unfolding and era of innovation. He, he said the association initiated the mission with an aim to put the wise teaching into actions. Lekshemba maintained that decisions made with will be held on various parts of the state under the mission. Joint Secretary of UNESCO Manipur, Dr. T. H. Chandramani, speak at length on emotional integrity through cultural exchange in the convention. My show today, na promise le na kung to bira may may tayo libag kang libag Manipur sa libag o rakani malay may amsing na santi ka horok pam thi rakani ay pam pam do ng siswa na puham do yok sa le masimak ay kwa na mipung kung dumagi tamoy da pag pag dumagi madut tamoy na langon lang dahil misa na si Manipur gising tamam sung Kanglo perut tidak nasi jangan kita bisa nama ni. Kanglo pak nanti kalau mana pura ini kanglo riba. Aduh, kalau mama papa saya tangdu lagi tanah lain apa? Lain apa? Tung koi na langol lang dae asida. Anu bawa mama papa malah kini lah awi kanglo bani na ikut puna hingmin na bahaya bah. Wapam duda hai riba kenosi convention nasi. Kau gigi langol lang dae convention nasi pangtok puni. Bishnupur district joins the glove in observing World Missionary Day today. Words of God for Asian Mission to organize the event at the Word of God's Church in Kaino. The event aims to promote love and harmony. Christian pastors were felicitated on the occasion. <laughs> Adunah isoan nungsi bahasa ikhoy bu mahang nungsi bi bagum na ikhoy so amang amang nungsi naga tu bni nungsi naga pura pura matam da lebang asida ikhoy sokat pah gitu pura kani pi tambiri bah oza sing asibu fajana makoy bu ikai kum nabo utk tu bni makoy si makoy asih na takdi bagi maram na nakoy nusu asum balam bi hebe si masak kangi bni Old Manipur Kidney Transplant Patient Welfare Association has offered financial assistance to a kidney failure patient, Albert Thangjam, son of Thangjam Bobo, from the Mantripuki Lamlongai in Hainan constituency today. Due to financial constraint, Albert Thangjam is unable to undergo a kidney transplant. Old Manipur Kidney Transplant Patient Welfare Association appealed everyone to help such patients in need. A sensitization program on the Beti Bachao, Beti Parao was held at the Slopeland Public School in the Kongjom Thaubal district yesterday. District Project Officer of ICDS Thaubal, Sharma, gave resourceful insights on the preconceptions and the pre neutral diagnostic techniques act in the event. Speaking, at the, speaking as the chief guest, D.C. Thaubal Thaubam Rosita stated that the Indian government initiated Beti Bachao, Beti Parao scheme with an aim to safeguard, nurture and provide education to every girl child in the wake of gender imbalance created by declining rate of women population. 
and in sports news. Orphic Table Tennis Association OTTA has distributed its latest uniforms to sports trainees of the academy today. The uniform is sponsored by Assistant Commissioner of Centre GST Infald RK Devendra IRS. Speaking in the event held at the Kogwa Ningom Tongjao NYVO Community Hall today, coach of the academy Yendrem Bamboy asserted that the academy was established with an aim to drive youth towards sports and build a healthy society. He said the academy is training altogether 25 players at present. Under his guidance as a coach since 2016, the academy has produced many state and national level sportspersons. Manipur City Table Tennis is here now. How did you like the film? Today, here in Chakwat, now, I have a member of Orphix. This is how to work. State level, this is how to work. Then national level, this is how to work. Today, here in Chakwat, now, I have a sub-junior and cadet national level to participate. Today, here in Chakwat, now, I have a sub-junior and cadet national level to participate. Today, here in Chakwat, now, I have a sub-junior and cadet national level to participate. Today, here in Chakwat, now, I have a sub-junior and cadet national level Chief Minister Nong Thom Mbirend launches rabi campaign 2018 to enable farmers achieve higher yield of various crops during rabi session for boosting their income. Two scientists from the Wildlife Institute of India, Dehradun, arrived in Nepal today to investigate recent mysterious killings of domesticated livestock. And relevant authorities assures to repair Infal Yadipo growth at the earliest. Villagers are called of indefinite blockage of Infal Yadipo growth.